Coming to you from San Jose, California, it's The Cube. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with The Cube. We're on the ground at the launch rim of the primary data launch party. We're kind of in the back lot behind the San Jose Convention Center. Joined here with co-host John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE, who a long time ago with Dave Vellante said, we got to go out after dark. So we're out <laughs> after dark. There's a lot of action going on. So John, we're here, the motorcycles are flying. Uh, the boys that got the band back together is the buzz. What's going on with, with Primary Data? Why is it important? Well, this is the big thing. This is the best launch party I've ever seen in terms of unique style because they get the style points because it's not your typical launch party. There are actually things launching in the air, human bodies, motorcycles doing flips. And the thing about Primary Data, why I'm excited about these guys is I've been following David Flynn and Rick White since Fusion IO was a private company where no one even knew what they were doing. They went on to have a great company, build great value, go public. Now, they have this new little company called Primary Data, which is doing something what VMware did for virtualization, for servers, they're doing for data and storage. And storage is the biggest problem in our evolution towards a modern infrastructure. No matter who you talk to, OpenStack, Cisco, EMC, storage is the biggest pain in the butt in the world right now. Mainly because it's always siloed architectures, so that's got to be free. So what primary data is doing on a technical level behind the genius of David Flynn is taking a unique approach to data, data virtualization for lack of a better description. So I'm really looking forward to what they do, Jeff. Well, it's interesting because everybody keeps saying that this was part of their original vision but they got sidetracked by those, those pesky customers that you know, took some of their earlier stuff and you know you got to support your customer. That's Clayton Christensen. But now, Fusion IO success, IPO, obviously, but now they're, they're going to redo it again. They got the same group of guys together and they're going to execute a vision that they had before. Well, I'm going to talk to David Flynn shortly, but I, my guess is, is that Fusion IO had lightning in a bottle and I don't think they knew what they had in their, in their hands. Fusion IO is a hardware uh, card that became a big critical piece of infrastructure. And I think you go public on that and you get stuck in the, the big Sarbanes-Oxley board of director meetings. And like, it's like it became too big and it's a bigger vision. So I think that primary data is a, a, a genesis of David Flynn's original vision around what the future could look like for programmers, DevOps, the cloud storage. So I think that Fusion IO just kind of went public and the innovation is very hard with the public company, we all know. I mean, look at Joe Tucci. Joe Tucci, one of the best CEOs on the planet, is under siege from hedge funds for, for selling VMware. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the <laughs> these guys are doing great work. Being public is not that great of a deal. So I think Fusion might have been like, it's now sold to Sandisk. So I think this is more of an entrepreneurial greatness. Well, Peter Thiel was just speaking uh, at the demo show, which was going on before the launch party, and really talking about the very special, magical time of when you start a company. You get to do things, you get to write the rules, you get to write the culture, you get to pick the people and what you want to go after that you can't necessarily do down the road. So, it's an exciting time. We got a bunch of guests lined up, so we're going to cut out, get to our next guest. Again, John Furrier, Jeff Rick, you're watching theCUBE. We're at the primary data launch a party in the back lot in San Jose Convention Center. We'll be right back.